everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe and sound in this pandemic and I hope that everyone is ready to learn something new today. But first, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out. And please subscribe to my channel. Remember, as a bonus or reward, should I say, I will be giving one random subscriber $20 when I reach 200 subscribers. So I'm almost up to 160 now, so I know I'm going to do it, but I'm just trying to do it faster. So please subscribe, share my channel with everybody that you know, ask them to subscribe. You know, I would appreciate it very much. And like I said, the $20 is going to go to a random subscriber. Okay, so today is Wellness Wednesday, which, you know, I do every Wednesday. So I'm pretty routine on certain types of videos. Uh, and this month is actually Men's Health Month. So I'm going to be focusing on an issue that a lot of men, women too, but a lot of men have. So, how to do a natural colon cleanse at home. So, something like this can help you avoid getting colon cancer. Now, I'm not telling you not to go get screened. No, I'm telling you, you should, you know, like I think after like 50, you should get screening for colon cancer. I know I did it, my wife did it. My point is that by cleaning it, by doing a cleanse, you're kind of decreasing the chances of actually getting something. Okay. So before we get in, remember, I'm not a doctor, nor do I play one on TV. So use this at your own risk, but there's no medicine here. Okay. So what is the colon and do I need a colon cleanse? Digestive health is integral to feeling happy, healthy, and well. One important organ in the digestive system is the colon and called the large intestine. Colon health is a significant part of digestive health. Some people claim the colon should be cleansed for optimal digestive wellness. However, research proving the effectiveness of cleanses is scant and low in quality. Still, certain aspects of colon, colon cleansing may be beneficial. It may help issues such as constipation or irritable bowels, movements, and there was some evidence that they can also reduce colon cancer. See? If it can reduce it, it's a good thing. Other colon cleanse claims, such as removal of toxins and parasites, are questionable. Okay, so here we go. Seven ways to do a natural colon cleanse at home. So you can do this at home. There are a few ways to colon cleanse. You can purchase a colon cleansing product, or you can even get a colonic irrigation or enema. Okay, that's not at home. Otherwise, you can do simple things to boost or cleanse colon health naturally at home. That's the way I prefer, the natural way. The following natural colon cleanses can be done cheaply, with very good, anything that's cheap, and they're also quite safe if done correctly. Reminder, you don't need to do colon cleanses every day or even every so often to be healthy, though they may have health benefits when done sporadically. So that mean, doesn't mean every day. You could do it once every six months. I mean, it depends on you. Okay, so this one's easy. Anyone can do this one. Water flush. Drinking plenty of water and staying hydrated is a great way to regulate digestion. People who support a water flush for colon cleanser recommend drinking six to eight glasses of lukewarm water per day. So if you drink warm water, that's supposed to help clean out your colon. Also try eating Plenty of fruits high in water content. This includes fruits and vegetables like watermelons, tomatoes, lettuce, and celery. I know that when I eat a lot of watermelon, my colon is cleansed. And it tastes good, the watermelon, so it's, you know, serves two purposes. In fact, there are a lot of fruits that help cleanse the colon naturally to diet. Salt water flush. May not taste good, but it may work. You can also try salt water flush. This is especially recommended for people experiencing constipation and irregularity. A 2010 study showed salt water could possibly clear the colon when paired with certain yoga poses. Okay, I don't do yoga, so. 
Before eating in the morning, mix two teaspoons salt with lukewarm water. Sea salt or Himalayan salt is recommended. Drink water quickly on an empty stomach and in a few minutes you'll probably feel an urge to go to the bathroom. Do this in the morning and in the evening and make sure to stay home near the bathroom for a while after the cleanse. You may need to go to the bathroom multiple times. High fiber diet. Fiber is an essential macronutrient often overlooked in the diet. It is found in whole healthy plants, foods like fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, seeds, and more. Plants contain cellulose and fibers that help bulk up excess matter in the colon. They also regulate constipation and overactive bowels while boosting helpful bacteria as a probiotic. Make sure you eat plenty of high fiber fruits which help a healthy colon. They can also be great for gut bacteria too. Juices and smoothies. Juices are popular colon cleansers. These include fruit and vegetable juice fast and cleansers like master cleansers. There isn't enough research on, th on these for the colon. However, in fact, some research points out risks. Even so, moderate intake of juices and juicing can be good for you. Juice blends contain some fiber and nutrients that benefit digestion. They also hold water to help hydrate and keep up regularity. What's more, a study in 2015 found that vitamin C may help cleanse the colon. Vitamin C is found in lots of fruits and vegetables added to juice blends. Popular juices in juice fasts and cleansers include apple juice, lemon juice, and vegetable juices. However, some dietitians may recommend smoothies over juices for colon and overall health. Some pulp and skin are removed when juicing. Juice contains less fiber. Fiber is great for the colon and smoothies hold a lot more fiber. You don't need to fast and drink only juice and smoothie to get any benefit. Just try including more in your diet such as with a juice, daily juice or smoothie. Okay, more resistant starches. Resistant starches are similar to fiber. They are also found in plant foods like potatoes, rice, legumes, green beer, bean, bananas, and grains. These promote a healthy colon by boosting gut microflora. A 2013 review on resistant starches also found they reduce colon cancer risk. There was a downside though. Resistant starches are found in carbohydrates. Still, low-carb dieters can choose options that cause fewer blood sugar spikes. These include rice and waxy potatoes. Including these in the diet, like fiber, can be great for cleansing the colon. Okay. Probiotics. Adding probiotics to the diet is another way to cleanse the colon. This also boosts overall health in many other ways. You can get more probiotics by taking probiotic supplements. Also, eat lots of probiotic-rich foods like yogurt, kimchi, pickles, and other fermented foods. Probiotics in introduce good bacteria to the gut with the help of fiber and resistant starches. These curb inflammation and promote regularity, two elements of digestive health related to the colon. Apple cider vinegar is also considered probiotic and is included in colon cleanses. The enzymes and, ac and acids that apple cider vinegar contains supposedly suppress bad bacteria. Currently, there are no studies on this. Herbal teas. Trying some herbal teas may assist digestive health via the colon. Laxative herbs like psyllium, aloe vera, marshmallow root, and slippery elm may help with constipation. Make sure to talk to your doctor and follow close directions closely before using these herbs. Also use them sparing, otherwise they can be harmful. Anything that's harmful, I would stay away from. Other herbs, like ginger, garlic, and cayenne pepper, contain antimicrobial photochemicals. These are thought to suppress bad bacteria. For this reason, they're included in lots of cleanses. Those studies are needed. I don't think ginger and garlic is going to hurt you. Try a cup of one of those herbal teas up to three times a day. Only drink tea once per day for laxative herbal teas. So, you know, that helps too. Okay. So if you're interested in one of the above natural colon cleansers, doing one in a gentle fashion at home is usually safe. Combining these with fasting or increasing the frequency of these, you, their use can have risks. If you have high blood pressure and must keep your sodium intake low, avoid salt water flushes. Side effects of intense cleansing include nausea, vomiting, dizziness, dehydration, 
electrolyte imbalances, and cramping. If any of these symptoms occur, stop your cleanse immediately and see your doctor. These symptoms have the risk of, of leading to heart failure and digestive damage. If the cleanse is continued, an enema or colon cleanse used occasionally poses little risk for a healthy individual. But cleanse overuse can quickly lead to a chronic constipation or even bowel injury. Also, talk to your doctor before making major changes to your diet for colon health. This includes eating significantly more fiber, resistant starches, juices, and smoothies. Make sure to also be careful when using herbal teas for colon cleanse. Some herbs can impede or affect certain medications. Laxative herbs can also be harmful if overdone. Overuse of laxative reduces the body's ability to move stool and result in chronic constipation. If you have a chronic illness, talk to your doctor before doing a natural colon cleanse at home. Colon cleanses aren't right for everyone. So, as I said, you know, use this stuff at your own risk. Um, but certain things, it's a no-brainer. I mean, so, you know, you um, take plenty of fluids, drink plenty of water. All doctors will tell you drink plenty of water. It's not going to hurt you. You're not going to float away eating watermelon. That's going to help you. So certain things can can hurt. You know, I've never heard of someone drinking too much water and having a problem. You know, water helps naturally clean the thing. That's what I like to do. You know, but you know, like I said, there's many choices. You could choose whichever one you want. So choose whichever one you want. Again, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that bell notification to know when my videos come out, generally between 3 and 4, because this is a family-friendly channel. And please, do me a favor. I really would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. By subscribing to my channel, it makes me feel like you appreciate what I'm doing. And as a reward, I will give you one random subscriber who comments $20 when I reach 200 and it's not that far to go, you know, and I'm just trying to get it faster, you know. I mean, I've asked if half of my subscribers would just recommend me to one person, I would be there in no time at all. So please uh, do that for me. Um, tomorrow I will be doing a food video, uh, Filipino food video. Don't know what I'm going to do yet. It depends on what my wife makes. But I definitely will be doing a Filipino food video. Go out, get yourself vaccinated, stay safe, and I will see you soon.